What's going on everyone? TJ, Fitness News Reviews, and together with me, Centurion Labs, God of War, War People, War. Yeah, people, this is God of Rage, brother or sister or uncle or aunt. I'm not sure, but listen, people, I'm going to take you through the level of this thing. I'm going to tell you what's in it. And if you should actually care, no, you shouldn't care. You know it. Labels are just labels. So then I'm going to share with you my personal experience using this one probably four times. Yeah. And then towards the end of the video, as usual on this channel, I'm going to map this shit for you and tell you if it fits, where it fits in your Steam Junkie journey. And all I'm going to ask in return is that you hit that like button. <laughs> Okay, people, God of War. I've used this one uh, for the last month or so, even though this is the second version. So this is the reformulated version of God of War. I actually had the first version here. I didn't like it. So I didn't even, I think I recorded the review, but never posted it. Anyway, they reformulated. Good idea to reformulate, but stand still. Anyway, people, Centurion Labs, you know them from God of Rage, one of my all-time favorite pre-workouts. Really love it. Love the, love the first version, love the reformulated version. Just one of these, you can't miss, Steam Junkie pre-workout experience. Just a beautiful experience. I reviewed their Legion uh, Fat Burner. Man, that shit will get you wired. And when I say wired, I mean wired. And I reviewed their Trans uh, Sleep Aid. It's a pill-based sleep aid. Actually, my only... Um, I want to say my only favorite pill-based sleep aid. Really like it. I'm going to link to all of these reviews below. So anyway, Centurion Labs are doing good stuff overall. Yeah, so like I mentioned, God of War is uh, had a previous version about a year ago, I think. I, I tried it a few times, recorded the review. It wasn't a very favorable review. I forgot to post it, I think. But anyway, they reformulated. They have a new version here, so I'm going to take you through this. It's very hard for me to have another one, God of Fire, which I think is more supposed to be of a thermogenic pre-workout. I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be more of their non-DM pre-workout because God of Rage does have DMHA and you feel it. Yeah, check out this review. If you, if you missed God of Rage, you owe it to yourself to give it a go. Anyway, so God of War, people, God of War, high steam pre-workout. I like the design, generally speaking, of uh, Centurion Labs. It's not too crazy. It's not too much. So, I, I, by the way, good company, like solid company. I think they're trying to do the right thing. And when you read their labels, they're not stupid. You know, some of these companies I review, they have just stupid labels. You know that the person who put this pre-workouts together is just stupid. Okay, people. Okay, people. One scoop, 10.7 grams, 25 servings. By the way, it's crazy, right? We're at the end of 2022. When, we see a, when I see a pre-workout with 25 servings, I'm like praising the Lord, hallelujah, because it's a good value for money, right? We got so used to paying a lot of money for 20 servings. And it's not the company's fault, by the way. It's not like they're making more money, most of them. They're just the cost of the ingredients shot up by like 50%, right? So sometimes when you see these pre-workouts and you say, God damn it, these companies are ripping me off. It's actually, listen, I don't know how the other companies do it because you do find some uh, discrepancy. There's some companies that can still keep like, I think uh, God of Rage is like a very well-priced pre-workout for like 25 ser servings. So it's also good value for money and a solid experience. But I think what happens, anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. I think what happens is some of these companies just put shitloads of ingredients and that, uh, you know, uh, puts the price, uh, the cost up and they have to charge more for 20 servings even. Just put less ingredients and make the pre-workout amazing. Genius. Okay, people, let's get into this. 10.9 grams. So listen, you know how it starts with the uh, vitamin B, whatever, you can see it here. So this thing starts with vitamin B3, which is niacin, 45 milligrams. So I can tell you for me, niacin first, I don't, listen, whoever you are manufacturer, you should not put a lot of niacin. There's zero value. And some people are going to be super sensitive to a lot of niacin. Usually for me, it's above 40 milligrams, which is, this is the case here. You get these nasty flash, flushes on your skin. Like you feel that redness, almost itchiness to the extreme. It's not good feeling, bad iron itchiness, just annoying itchiness. Anyway. But sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't. Let's get into this. Labels are just labels. Then they have a bunch of stuff around hydration. Four grams of beta alanine. Yeah, people, four grams. That is a lot of tingling on label with the, definitely with the combination of niacin. We like the tingling here, by the way. We like the positive tingling, not the annoying as fuck tingling. But yeah, we like the tingling. L-arginine, one gram. Theoretically, this is a pump formula. 
there's so much research right now that the L arginine doesn't do shit. But anyway, agmatine sulfate at one gram, it's a good ingredient. Usually I like agmatine with a combination of citrulline for pumps. That's another pump ingredient. DMAE at 750 milligrams, supposed to help you with focus. Caffeine at 450 milligrams. So that's a lot of caffeine, obviously. Not for us, team junkies, right? We are here in the world's only FDA-proof bunker. We, I reviewed here tons of stuff that have way more than 400 milligrams of caffeine. They have other stuff, other stimulants. And even sometimes I review, like, there's pre-workouts out there with 600 and 700 milligrams of caffeine. But 450 milligrams for, like, uh, your everyday Joe, that is a lot of caffeine. Beta PEA, 300 milligrams, so it's supposed to be a, a mood ingredient, right? But usually you need to combine it with other ingredients for the half-life to go above 10 minutes. So beta PEA, the actual ingredient for like feel good uh, nootropic, has a half-life which is very short. So unless you combine it with hordenine or with alpha-yo, you're gonna, not going to get the effect. But again, labels are just fucking labels. There's no alpha-yo or hordenine here, by the way. Uh, l tianine at 150 milligrams. I don't like l tianine in a pre-workout. I don't give a shit what you people say. I don't give a shit what, like, sometimes it works with it, sometimes it doesn't work without it, without, with it, sorry. But in any case, I just don't like it. It's a fucking sleep aid. Uh, Isopropyl synephrine, 20 milligrams, that's a good ingredient. And then Uperzine A to wrap up the focus ingredients together. So this, this is not a stupid label, but also on label, there's a bunch of stuff here that I personally wouldn't put. But labels are just labels, luckily for you. You never know how this thing is going to come together. If it was that easy to just put a label, you would go and copy a great pre-workout you know and just make it, and then it will be as good as the other pre-workout. No, quality of ingredients matters, how they actually interact, a lot of stuff. Let's get into the experience, people. So, um, blue candy slush, that's the f flavor here. I think it's okay. Just tried it today. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, I don't give a shit. As on a scale of 1 to 10, because some of you asked me, said, hey, TJ, we know you don't like the scales of 1 to 10 for flavors. Can you please do it? Because I'm a little pussy, and I'm a little girl, and I need a scale. So, listen, on a scale of 1 to 10, Fuck you and your scale of 1 to 10 for flavors for pre-workouts. Who the fuck cares? Seriously, you drink it for one second. Anyway, blue, slushy, whatever, it's okay. It's okay. You're gonna survive. Let's get into the experience, people. So listen, right out of the gate, this shit with the niacin hit me really bad. Like, I just hate... Guys, seriously, for the love of God, I know that... Listen, maybe 40% of the population is not sensitive to niacin, so they can take 45 milligrams of niacin. But what... What is the benefit of damaging the experience for like 60% of the other population? This shit got me flashing all over the place, annoying, like, you know, like to the point that my elbows were hurting from the, from the sleeves of the shirt of the hoodie. Like, I just hate it. So the beta and tingling, you're definitely going to feel it, but it's not the, the positive thing. I don't like this. And this, this shit like lasted for like 25, 30 minutes. So you're going to get, if you're sensitive to niacin like myself, you're going to get 20 to 30 minutes of shit experience just like bothering like you can't focus on anything so this is stupid right out of the gate i didn't like it by by the way right out of the gate this one is not for me personally but the way i judge it is that okay i man up i wait for the fucking niacin flashes to to go away and focus on the pre-workout experience itself so let me tell you this this is not it i literally this feels like 450 milligrams of caffeine to a large extent and that's it. I didn't get a lot of pumps. I definitely didn't get any mood elevation. There was no extra focus. You definitely feel... Listen, if you like the flushes and the the betanin tingling extreme, like, the annoying. It's not the betanin. It's, it's the nice thing. Then you're going to have fun with this. But to me, this one felt just 450 milligrams of caffeine plus a bunch of stuff that didn't get to do anything on this label in reality. Plus a lot of nice thing, annoying shit. Pumps were nothing to write home about. Like, this is, yeah, this is not it. The first version, this feels to me, I don't, I can't even remember if this feels better or worse than the first version of this one. It feels about the same. Like, I would not spend money on this. I mean, Centurion Labs, you have God of Rage, which is like, like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, like, literally one of the best pre workouts out there for Steam Junkie Experience. I'm going to link to that review below. Man, I don't, like, this one is nothing. Listen, story Centurion Labs. I love Centurion Labs. I love the company. I like the people. But this, this, this one specifically is not it. Like, there's nothing extra. You know, if you just want to feel caffeine plus beta anion, just buy beta anion in bulk and, and to take a, a few capsules of caffeine. It's not just worth a pre-workout. Now, again, if you're like a beginner, this is going to blow your head off because there's a lot of caffeine, all these nice and flushes and all this shit. But I didn't feel anything extra by the caffeine. Listen, people. There's no dick sucking on this channel. 
zero oral activity guarantee. This one, you feel the caffeine, you'll definitely feel the caffeine from an energy perspective, but basically that is it. If you want to try Centurion Labs, I'm going to link below to the God of Rage pre-workout. That is an amazing pre-workout. This for me did nothing beyond the caffeine. I know some people liked it, like I saw some reviews and people liked it. I don't know, but for me, this feels nothing. Just caffeine, nothing. Not, no head buzz, no nothing. And I did wait for the niacin flushes to end. So, and for me, so for me, by the way, this is even double worse because I also hate the niacin flushes. <gasps> Listen, people, zero oral activity guarantee. Check out God of Rage by Centurion Labs. <gasps> Listen, people. If this review was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this because this is what we do here. We help you make smart decisions about the supplements that you buy.